All right guys, hello, my name is Dan, welcome back. So today I wanted to do my own price prediction video. I feel like there's been a lot of new things happening in the marketplace in terms of Ecomi Vivi, some updates that I think will change the price prediction somewhat. Although one piece of news here will be a little bit of a negative in terms of our price prediction. I do feel like we are still on track for the general price prediction. So I wanted to give you my updated thoughts because really we only have a couple more months left before the end of the year. I also wanna talk about the broader cryptocurrency market because I feel like it does have a perceived impact on, in terms of price. So we have to understand what's going on in terms of the market and also the stock market in order to have a really clear updated vision of what we have going forward in terms of 2021 as well as 2022. So guys, I hope you enjoy this one. Please, if you do like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell, and let's get to it. So recently we had the Twitter Spaces AMA and right now I'm on the official VV Digital Collectibles page here and they did a recap for the Twitter Spaces AMA. There's some interesting stuff here that I think is relevant for our price prediction. First things first, in terms of FUD busting, they have a multi-year contract with DC, so they're not going anywhere. Every brand aims to license their IP to multiple partners. So this is in relation to, did they actually lose any DC license here? But it does appear that that is not the case. They have a multi-year license there. As well as the NFLPA, there's nothing really officially been announced, but they expect to see companies diversify as the industry grows. So other companies will definitely have digital collectible licenses to other companies, but they haven't even announced their sports category yet. A lot is in the works. We really don't know what's going on with the sports sector, but, but when I was on the AMA, I actually I did listen in and I think we're going to be pleasantly surprised with the sports category there. So best is yet to come in regards to that. Another big thing here is with the immutable migration. It says the immutable migration phase three will see the token swap options. They're going to be releasing information over the next couple of weeks. So October is really going to be a big month. I know I've been saying this for a while. I'm really relying on their official information. It has been pushed back because we were thinking August. Then we were thinking September. Now it seems like it's actually going to be October. And I kind of wish it would have happened a little bit earlier personally, but you know, we can't really do much in terms of their developmental timeline. I am a supporter of the team. I do kind of understand that things have to be pushed back. So I do anticipate that this time immutable migration will actually happen because we're actually seeing the seeds of the immutable migration happening already. So I do feel with a high degree of confidence we are going to get that this month. So they're going to have migration first, then interoperability, then they'll release initial set of uh, collectibles that will have interoperability before the release. So that's going to be another thing that's going to pop up the price of these collectibles. And I think by extension, it's going to pop up the price for OMI. Another thing here, they have cash out gems of fiat. They've passed all the regulatory requirements. So this is the big hump. And now 40% of the way through integration with their banking partner. This I anticipate will actually happen a lot quicker than the regulatory requirements. Regulatory stuff is always really, really slow. So hopefully down to the final piece here, maybe a couple more weeks. Like I've said before, when there's money coming into the app, money will come into the token. So this is going to be very, very exciting. It will definitely pop up the price for the token. So I just want to remind you guys what we have to look forward to in terms of the OMI token price. We have a lot of good news coming. We have the OMI token utility article where they're going to expand the utility for the token and we'll be able to use OMI token from the circulating supply to buy things in the VVverse to use things on the app. And that's actually going to burn from the circulating supply. So you will see significantly increased buy pressure on the OMI token on the market. So that's going to pop up the price nicely. I do anticipate that when the news is actually released, we are going to see a nice pop in price. I think when the official immutable migration is also announced, once that's all squared away, we should see another pop in price. They've also said they're, they're going to have interoperability with these collectibles potentially on OpenSea or the Immutable X marketplace. So we're finally going to be able to send our collectibles off the VV app to actually sell. So this is going to increase some buy pressure on the collectibles itself. And I think this is also going to pop the token up nicely as well. So they've also said that once things are squared away in terms of the immutable migration, we should see an additional three to five exchanges by the end of the year. Now, since everything is pushed back, I don't know how that will actually play out, but I'm hoping we have at least one big tier one exchange by the end of the year. and That will definitely 
pop up the price in terms of the token. So we also have the Master Collector Program article that will also be released. People are very interested to see how the collectibles will play out in terms of the VVverse and what benefits they can possibly have. Omi staking is also potentially a part of the Master Collector, but most likely will actually be related to the Omi token utility. So we will actually be able to stake our tokens in order to get some benefit. And staking generally has some impact on price. And I think this is, will be more a buy the rumor, sell the news thing. So we should see a pop in price once that is also released as well. Now, unfortunately, one piece of bad news is that the VVverse will not be released this year. In fact, it will be released sometime next year. They have said, I think, six to nine months away from from today, so we should see it in the middle of 2022. Now, I did rely on the VVverse in terms of my price prediction because I felt like that was gonna be another big piece of news that will pop us to higher levels. So it's unfortunate that this is taken away, and I think this will play a role in our updated price prediction. However, the silver lining is we should see 2022 really being a big year for the OMI token, and I think that will facilitate a big pop in price, maybe a huge pop in price. We just don't know yet, and I really want to see how this year plays out before I make any sort of bold price predictions for 2022, but keep on a lookout for my official price prediction for 2022 on this channel. So one thing I wanna look at in terms of the OMI price token here is uh, the Fibonacci retracement. I think it's probably the best technical analysis tool for long-term projections of price. So I really like this tool. I think it's the most valid tool out there for a good projection here. So let's use this tool here. So currently we're trading at the five, seven level here. And uh, just to recap the price, we came from an all time high of about 1.3 cents and we've slowly been dwindling down like you all know, kind of hitting this low level here. Morale was actually really, really low. And that was actually the first time I was actually a little bit concerned because I could have, I really did believe we we're gonna go even lower, but things went up from that all time low here. We had a lot of catalysts. Remember the Marvel bit of news. And this is really important here. We came from this low, this Fibonacci retracement level here, and we popped back up with the Marvel news. And that was actually really, really nice for the community. It gave us a lot of encouragement for what's next to come here. So one bit of news, Marvel popped us up by one retracement level zone for lack of a better word and we've kind of been staying in this steady pattern here because there really wasn't massive news that popped us up in price but it was healthy because we never truly dropped back to this level here which is really kind of nice there and then there was another big piece of news here all of that omi token utility stuff definitely popped us back up to this level of retracement here. So big news is able to catapult us up through a Fibonacci retracement level. So that's where we are right now. And like I said, we have about five pieces of news that could potentially propel us that if we follow past trends have shown that one major piece of news is able to pop us up in level. So we are here right now. What do we have next to come? We have Omi token utility article. I can see that news in and of itself popping us up here. And then we have master collector. Now, is that going to be able to pop us up to the next level? I don't know, but it's a good piece of news. So that's the, kind of the second thing. But let's say it kind of keeps us in the middle part of this zone here. It does pop us up to the next retracement level. What else do we have? We have immutable migration. Could this pop us up another level here? Possibly. I don't know how this is all gonna work. We have the multiple exchanges. Is this gonna pop us up even higher? This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the exchanges, whenever it happens, is gonna pop us up even higher. But another thing I have to mention, we have the OpenSea interoperability, but we also have uh, the, the gems to fiat. We're finally gonna have a lot of money coming into this app, and I think this will definitely blow us out of the water here. So I'm hoping that definitely happens to us. And then the kind of the sky is the limit because once we break through this critical level, this critical psychological level, we will truly be in price discovery mode. And what is price discovery mode? It's when the market doesn't know how to value the token because it's not based off of previous data. It's the, it's the undiscovered country. And I feel when we're in undiscovered territory, we can finally follow a pattern like this. This is what happened in the past. We were trading at this level here and, uh, you know, I wasn't in on OMI back in those days, but they were trading at this level here 
and they had a pop. And this is what happens when we're in price discovery mode. We don't know how to value the token in a sense anymore because it's not ba based off previous price levels. So this is what I'm really banking on. If we can break through this 1.3 cent, we could have a price structure that looks just like this. And where does this place us? It places us anywhere from two to five cents. It really does. It's happened before. As you can see here, a long time ago, before many of us even knew about Omi token, it was trading stable at these levels. Then bam, it popped up. And the same thing could happen here we can be in price discovery mode and be touching two to five cents. So this is kind of where I get my two to five cents price prediction. Now we don't have the VV verse. I still think it's possible to hit two to five cents, but it makes it a little bit less likely. Could we hit four cents? Could we hit just three cents? This is still good. If you buy at these levels right now at the five, seven, five, five level, you're essentially five, six Xing your money there. That's a great return for OMI holders and we should be happy with a level like that. Now, I know I said I wanted to talk about what's gonna happen with the broader Bitcoin uh, stock market the macroeconomic trends here, but this video is already kind of long and I already talked a lot about the OMI token here, but just be aware that some people do believe we could hit a bear market sometime in October, November, definitely by the end of the year. That's a very common sentiment. Now, going into 2022, I don't know what's going to happen with the broader economy. I do think it's uh, the growth is going to be a little bit slow, but I don't foresee us going into a bear market with the macroeconomic trends. But then again, that's incredibly difficult to predict. And people have said that right before a crash. Just be cognizant of the general macroeconomic trends within the global economy, the, what the United States is doing, what China is doing, what's the, what the EU is doing. This definitely plays a role in terms of equities and it will play a role with our market here. So one thing about the Bitcoin bear market hypothesis is there's a lot of things happening now that's never happened before. Mainly, we have mainstream adoption of Bitcoin that has never happened before. We don't know what's going to happen. The biggest bit of news is we could have Bitcoin ETF sometime over the next couple of months, possibly by the end of this year. If not this year, definitely next year. That's going to pop up the price because there's huge demand for Bitcoin. You may not see it when you look at the Bitcoin price chart, but once that institutional demand is a go, we are going to see huge pushes in Bitcoin price. And as you know, when Bitcoin is hot, it takes a lot of the altcoins with it. So this mass FOMO type hysteria alone could push us to two to five cents, absent of any fundamental factors. So this is something you should take into consideration and really understand for your own due diligence for your own. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. This is quite a long video here, but I hope you enjoyed this type of content. I'm very optimistic for the price, and I think you guys should be too. So if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell, 